guys, so I wanted to give a functional hip movement of sequence that you can do every day to open up your hips, to give you a release if you're a sports person or someone with tight hips and hip flexors. So we're gonna start out in some functional movement. Legs are open wide and you're gonna move your legs from right to left, just opening up through the hip sockets. You may feel a few crunching and groaning and that can be just working through some of the strain and stress and compression in your hips. From here, you're gonna take it after you've done a minute or two. I'm gonna show you the sequence. I advise you to stay in each pose one to two minutes, however. You're gonna take it up and you're gonna sit tall and you're gonna utilize the strength of your hips to go from left to right, left to right. Okay, try and keep your body towards the front, facing towards the front, so don't rotate over with it, okay? Moving through the hips. You might through, feel a few cracks and pops. Some of you may not get your knees down, that's okay. This, should, this is a great sequence to be done every day, particularly when you're a person with tight hips. You may feel like you're walking towards the camera. It does have a kind of movement forward at the same time. So after you've been doing that for about a minute, you feel like your hips have started to open up. Let's work into the mobility function of the calves, Achilles, sole, the soleus area, the gastrocnemius area, as well as moving into the functional hip movement by a stepping range of motion. You're gonna bring your foot behind you here into your bottom, your other foot up. And from here, you can move it forward a little bit or back, you have to find your desk position. From here, you're gonna move forward, hold here, just sitting on the back leg, come back. Move forward, lift up, hold here and back. And finally, move forward, step up. Feeling the full functionality of full range of motion in your leg. And you'll do that three times on one leg. And then you will do it three times on the other leg. So from here, move forward, come back. Move forward, a little bit more range of motion. You could feel this in your calves and your Achilles more. Come back. And move forward and all the way up. Coming down. So again, three times on each side. Coming after that, coming to a yogi squat, push your knees into and elbows into each other. And I want you to really think about pushing your knees apart. So technically you could hold it without your elbows helping. That's just giving you a little bit of extra force to go deeper. Holding this for a minute and breathing. From there, I want you to take your hand onto one side, rotate onto the outside of the foot and then the inside. Outside, inside. Outside, and you're doing about 10 repetitions on each side before transitioning to the other side. So pushing it out and in. Out and in. So again, 10 repetitions on each side. From here, once you've done that, I want to work into your hip strength and mobility. So from here, take your hands to the center. I want you to bring yourself up and bring yourself down. Bring yourself up, bring yourself down. So what you have is twofold. I'll show you from the side so you can understand this. You have hip flexor strength, bringing yourself up, knees out. And then you're coming down with your leg strength before utilizing your curvature of your spine, your flexion, to come into the deepest hip and extension here to come up before you go up with your hip flexors, down with your hip flexors. And then you're pulling your pelvis forward as you come down deep so you're not using your legs. Then pushing your bottom back as you come up before you lift up and down. So doing five to 10 reps, you're really gonna feel that. Finally, to then move through the mobility circuit, you're gonna place one foot on top of the knee Foot, make sure your foot is switched on to protect your knees. From here, you're gonna rotate from side to side, coming up and back. Side 
to side, coming up and back. And you would do this 10 times to side, up and back. So from the side point of view, here, I'm going to sit into it, side, side, up and back. Side to side, up and back. You can also have a nice shoulder stretch here when you're pushing back, okay? 10 times. And now finally, just to do a nice long hold and stretch out after all that functional movement, you're gonna grab the foot and you're going to place it either in your elbow crease or on your arm and your other one in your elbow crease or on your arm and holding here. And you're going to same, so on the other side, arm comes into either the elbow crease or here, the foot comes into it and the other arm and then you're rocking around, not hunching like this, sitting up nice and tall, rocking around, releasing for around 30 seconds, breathing deeply, then bringing your arm down just like the other one so you can stay up here if you need to and slowly extending out and rotating across as you bring that leg down, keeping the foot switched on, bottom leg elongated towards the ground, holding for 30 seconds to one minute. And there is your everyday hips that will open up your hips and bring you a lot more freedom and functional mobility. I hope you have a great day. Namaste.